Welcome to week two of flying FPV drones. Last week, I bought a few drones, practiced in the simulator for a bit, and eventually flew for the very first time. This week, I flew the Avada for the first time, learned the basics of color grading, and got my drone license. I also crashed for the first time. First, let's start with the Avada. I went over to a local park with some of my friends and tried to take off for the first time. I started out in normal mode where it'll self-level, can't do a flip, can't roll, none of that, it's just basic flying. But quickly, I felt comfortable enough to switch into acro mode or manual mode. From there, I noticed quite a few differences between the smaller Avada and the FPV, which I used last week. The first difference I noticed was the camera. Both shoot 4K and at high frame rates, but the Avada is two years newer and the camera just looked better. The second thing I noticed was the noise. I knew from previous research that the Avada was gonna be really loud, but hearing in person was just different. It's really high pitched and it's almost like it's stabbing you in your ears. It is very loud. Especially compared to the FPV. What well, DJI's FPV is loud, but it's different kind of loud. It's more like a helicopter versus a weed whacker. The final thing that surprised me was the lack of power the smaller Avada had compared to the other drone. As you can see here, I was coming out of a dive and gave it full power, but I still smacked into the ground. It does make sense that a smaller drone has less power but it's still less than I expected. Overall though, the first time flying the Avada went pretty well. I did a few small dives, and flew close to objects and I felt pretty comfortable with it. That's the main reason I bought the smaller drone, to be able to fly indoors for real estate tours or business listings, things like that. I did crash a few times, but it was on grass and I wasn't going very fast, so there wasn't any damage, but I still smacked the ground. The next couple of days, I flew the Avada some more, mainly in our backyard though, so I wasn't doing anything too crazy, flying through trees, doing some small dives, we also had our family over for one day, so I just had to show them what I'm learning to do. Here in America, if you want to use your drone commercially or get paid to use drone footage, you have to have a drone license. The Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, requires you to take a test just to prove you know some things before you can fly commercially. I study a little by watching YouTube videos, but eventually I just bought a course a short study, but it was really helpful in helping me pass my test. Overall, the course cost me $64 and then the drone test itself cost $175. Thankfully, I passed it on my first try. A few days later, I received my license. Ya boys certified. Now this allows me to legally sell my drone footage and get paid for any drone work I do. I rounded off the week by watching some color grading tutorials, but realized it is way harder than I expected and I'm not prepared to color grade my own footage just yet. What I'm doing now is either filming in the color profile that comes with the drone or shooting in decent alike and just throwing a basic LUT or using the auto balance in DaVinci Resolve. I hope to see you next week as I prepare to dive down my first mountain. I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who watched and subscribed from last week's video. I did not expect to get this much traction. Thank you so much. <laughs> it really helps me and a lot of encouragement to keep on going. I need a new prop. Did I just use the drill? That's kind of funny looking.